Hello, it is Summer Olmsted here, and today we're going to be doing coding problem 1.3 for CS2800. So I'm going to share my screen to Colab. And now I'm going to stop my video. So the prompt for today is we're going to write a program that finds the longest substring in alphabetical order in a string S. So here's our string S, and let's just get right into it. Um, we're going to first declare some variables. So this is the current substring. And then we're going to also declare the longest substring. And now... I just declare these to define them as the goal is to find the longest substring. So obviously we need to have a way to differentiate the longest in the sub. We're going to use those later. So first we're going to just make a loop to go through all of the, oops, all of the um, sub string S. So we're going to do that. <laughs> and now, I like to write out a lot of variables <laughs> sometimes whenever I do loops that are a little complicated, just so it's easier for me to read and explain. So I'm gonna declare some variables here. Um, <clears throat> so this is uh, gonna be the current iteration variable. So just as so I, so I'll write a little comment. I would have named it current, um, but, or current it, but I already have current sub, so I don't want to get it confused or anything. So, ooh. all right. <clears throat> so now my plan of action here, after declaring all of these, is we're going to compare the current iteration to see if it is bigger than the previous iteration or equal to. So we have this. And so my original way I was trying to do this was compare the, it, the current iteration to the after character. So if the current iteration is like A, it will compare it to the next one if it was like B and then it would be cool. But I ran into a lot of problems, so I ended up taking this approach instead because it solved a lot. And, oh, now that I think about it, because I do this, I should change this to one so it doesn't um, screw up <laughs> whenever I uh, start it because there's nothing before zero. Well, if it was starting at zero, it would be messed up. So yeah, anyway, let's now do current sub plus or equal to iteration. So what this is going to do is if it this condition applies, the previous um, is less than the iteration that's current, then we're going to have the current sub start to increment however long this applies to the current iteration. So if the previous keeps on being less than as in in the correct alphabetical order, then it's gonna be adding it onto there. So now what we're gonna do is another if statement because we now need to differentiate the current substring to the longest substring whenever it goes through all of them. So <clears throat> if lin of current sub, is bigger than the lin of the longest oops, longest sub colon then we are going to have to declare the longest sub is going to be the current sub now all right so now now we need an else statement to differentiate if it's not under these categories. Like if this doesn't even apply in the beginning, we need an else statement to basically like break this loop or just get it to not apply and just keep on going after that. So 
Now we're going to have else. I'm trying to indent it aligned with this because this only goes into this if this applies to begin with. So the else for this is going to be, we're just going to have the current sub start at the iteration. So then it'll just go back and then <laughs> it'll just be a loop of checking each one. So yeah, now that we have this, we will now test it out. So we're going to do print, oops, print the longest substring in string s is, um, let me do a, okay. Now we're gonna do longest sub. All righty, so now I'm just gonna look all over this. So we have this range should work good. And then we have this. So it's asking if the current iteration is bigger than the previous, then it's gonna be adding the current substring to that iteration forever, how long this applies. And then it's gonna be if this current substring is bigger than the longest, which you know, it's default is zero. So it'll just keep on comparing the new current subs as it goes on. It'll have the longest substring then defined. And then we're gonna have this else, which is if none of this even applied in the beginning, we're just gonna start to the next iteration as it keeps on incrementing throughout it. So let's do this. Run them all and perfect. We have the ideal results we're looking for. And this is great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this for, <laughs> I'm screen recording on Zoom and the thing popped up at the top. Uh, let me go to the coding assignment, I believe this is it. We're going to do A, B, C, B, you know what, let me just do this. So now we're gonna go back over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test this one just to make sure it's foolproof here. So, yeah. so we're going to start all over. The answer should be ABC. And perfect. It works for ABC. So it looks like it's doing pretty good. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.